Like so many of you, we were saddened by the passing of iconic game show host Alex Trebek. In 2020, the longtime Jeopardy host lost his battle with pancreatic cancer, a disease impacting more than 57,000 Americans each year. Here with what you need to know are doctors Rohit Sood and Kalyan Mantrapragada. They are medical oncologists at Ironwood Cancer and Research Center. It's great to have you both with us. Dr. Sood, I want to start with you. What are the symptoms of pancreatic cancer and what should patients be looking for? Thank you, Susan, for having us. Um, so pancreatic cancer is uh, the fourth leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. Um, uh, many a times it is an incidental finding that a patient uh, goes in for a CAT scan for some other unrelated reasons um, and, and ends up uh, having an uh, identification of a, of a mass on the pancreatic uh, um, tissue that leads to a further workup that eventually leads to a diagnosis. But some patients can present with abdominal pain that's more in the, um, uh, in the, in the, in the upper belly, uh, worse after eating sometimes. Um, uh, um, it can be mistaken as a gallbladder-related pain at times. Uh, some patients actually tend to just present with jaundice, unexplained jaundice. Weight loss, that, is, uh, that, that uh, may not be explained as well. Uh, these, are, these are some of the more common causes that we uh, see patients present to their doctors uh, that leads to further evaluations. And, and Dr. Matra Pragada, what are some of the genetic risks and who should be tested for pancreatic cancer? Again, thanks for having us. Uh, about five to 10% of pancreas cancer patients have a family history of pancreas cancer. You know, uh, the genetic risk can be broadly divided into patients with a defined syndrome of cancer predisposition or just having a family member or first degree family member with pancreas cancer. And these are the specific groups of patients that, you know, screening is recommended for by some of the, you know, expert groups. And uh, the screening guidelines can vary from doing MRI scans, endoscopies, or testing for blood sugars. In general, screening for the average risk you know, population is not recommended because there are no long-term uh, outcome data for screening. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned testing because Dr. Sood, I wanted to ask you what tests are being done to identify pancreatic cancer and the stage of it? Yes, yeah, Susan, it is, um, uh, uh, it is a tricky cancer to, uh, to diagnose earlier as Dr. Montepragada did mention screening uh, has not really panned out in, uh, in, in most situations. But if the patient does present with the symptoms that we just uh, elicited, uh, including belly pain, including jaundice or weight loss, and uh, um, uh, uh, then the, the doctors can actually help identify what could be leading to it, including an ultrasound of the abdomen sometimes, which could help um, a CT scan of the abdomen that, that leads to an, an eventual finding of these, uh, of these masses or abnormality. The doctors can then su uh, uh, subsequently specify additional tests such as the endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography in which they uh, endoscopically put a needle through the, uh, the pancreatic duct to identify where the tumor is and possibly even get a biopsy. It eventually hinges on getting a biopsy to make a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer, however. And Dr. Mantra Pragada, very quickly, what are the uh, commonly prescribed treatment options? The commonly prescribed treatment options are surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation for pancreas cancer. It is recommended that all patients with pancreas cancer be considered for clinical trials. At Ironwood Cancer Center, we do have you know, clinical trials available, available for various pan pancreatic cancer subtypes or in general cancer subtypes, and we have multidisciplinary teams that you know, come up with treatment options for these patients. Thank you, gentlemen, both for being with us in Ironwood Cancer and Research Centers. They have 10 Valley locations. To book an appointment, call 480-821-2838 or visit ironwoodcrc.com.